certain do's and don'ts for those visiting Hawaii, but it's not something you can easily find. So how can tourists learn more about this state and how to be respectful of this beautiful place that we all call home? Joining us now with details of a new campaign is Jay Talwar, Chief Marketing Officer with the Hawaii Visitors and Convention Bureau. Good morning, Jay. Thank you for stopping by. Good morning. Glad to be here. Talk more about this campaign. What is it all about? Well, about three to four years ago, we had our annual planning meeting, and we have offices on each county. And so we asked all of them kind of what they were feeling on their islands. And it really bubbled up that there were incidents where our residents were seeing behavior from visitors that they didn't appreciate, that they didn't think was appropriate. And I know recently we're talking about maybe uh, things with hiking or going in areas where they're really not supposed to. Sure. You know, we, we have visitors coming from all over the world. And if they come from a major city, New York, Chicago, uh, Shanghai, Tokyo, they not, may not be aware of kind of the values that shape our behavior as residents. You know, we stay on the trail because we know that if we go off the trail, it's not as safe. Mm -hmm. uh, we may cause erosion that creates silt that goes down and damages the coral reef. Or you may go on private property. And so actually our leader from the Kauai office said, how do we expect visitors to stay on the trail if we don't show them where the trail is? Right. Now we're looking at some of the video that's in this campaign right now. Where was this all filmed? Was it on all of the islands? or? It was. So we worked with each of our leaders on, uh, from each county and looked at the issues that their residents were facing and developed messages that then addressed the values that shape our behavior that we wanted to share with visitors rather than kind of wag our finger in their nose and say, stay on the trail, don't leave your plastic bottle uh, out of the trash or recycling bin, we said, let's share why we do that. Because when you look at the, vid the video, it's beautifully done. And again, it's not just kind of wagging your finger in their face saying, don't do this, but it's kind of like, kind of educating them about how special this place is and kind of how to take care of it, how to appreciate everything. Right, and that, that specialness comes from our residents. You know, and so what we did was we asked our island chapters also to identify individuals on each island that really had a passion for that issue, whether it was ocean conservation, land safety, uh, astute renting, renting appropriately. We looked for people who really were compassionate about those issues and just had them share why their behavior is such, why they have those passions. And we really believe visitors are good. Mm -hmm. People in general are good. And if we share the why behind the behavior, generally they'll follow. Because a lot of times it's just about lack of knowledge. They it just is. don't know about it. Um, you just talked about how the visitors kind of shared their input on this. What about um, about residents? Yes. What about residents and viewers who are watching now who want to help to educate the, the tourists about how to take care of our state? What do you want to tell them about how to do that? Well, actually, we learn from them. You know, they share, they share their aloha, they share their knowledge, and the best way to talk to a visitor is to share the why behind the behavior. Don't, just stay on the trail, but here's why you should stay on the trail. These are the issues that we're facing as residents. We want to perpetuate the beauty of this place, and this is how you can help us with that. And I think a good thing, too, is not to assume. Don't just assume they're doing this on purpose and they don't care. Like we mentioned, a lot of times they just don't know. It's a sure. lack of knowledge. Sure, they may not come from an area that's as beautiful uh, and as remote as we are. It is called the Kuleana Campaign. Where can they see more of this video? Well, we're sharing it with visitors. So uh, our hotel and airline partners are helping us out a lot. So they're in hotel rooms. Uh, they're in airlines. We're talking to more and more airlines. To uh, The campaign's just starting to get them in more planes coming into the destination. So before arriving, people will see the messaging as visitors and understand our values and hopefully uh, behave appropriately in the destination. Additionally, we've got them in English, Chinese, Korean, and Japanese. And we're able to identify, once people are on island, where they're from, and then give them the appropriate message in the appropriate language uh, in their Facebook and Instagram feeds. And then finally, moving forward, what else will be included in this campaign? Where else would you like to see this? Or what other things would you like to see done to help kind of uh, perpetuate the culture here? Sure, I think that's, that's a really important thing. And it's just more of this sort of messaging kind of getting out throughout the community and certainly covering as many visitors as possible. All right. Thank you so much, Jay, for joining us. Very important campaign. Thank you so much.